Senator, thank you so much for sitting down with me. It's great to be with I, you, Dan. I'm sure you've seen like, to Hillary. get the chance to beat Hillary Clinton. You know how it works. You actually have to be the Republican nominee. One of the things that my colleague Manu Raju in, uh, in, in the Senate has heard from several Republican senators is that they probably would think about backing you and telling all of their grassroots activists to back you if you would apologize for <laughs> saying that your Republican leader Mitch McConnell was a liar. Will yeah, you apologize? You know what, Dennett? This is why people are so frustrated with Washington. It, it's the inside battles back and forth. This isn't a game. This isn't about Washington power brokers. This isn't a smoke-filled room. If we want to turn the country around, let me tell you who should apologize. Barack Obama Hillary Clinton should apologize to but the American Mitch people. McConnell a liar, not they then. should apologize to the American people for seven years of economic stagnation, for people seeing jobs going overseas, for wages stuck. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton should apologize to all the single moms who've been forced into part-time work so because no of Obama. apology to Mitch McConnell because it could I, help you. Look, my focus is not on Washington. That ain't going to happen. And and if the Washington lobbyists want to see that happen, they can hold their breath a long, long time.